Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. We're going to look at configuring a NAT pool in 60 seconds or thereabouts. You can see the diagram up above. Uh, all the IP addresses, loopback 0 and 1 on router A. A static route on router B pointing back to router A. Uh, I've already put IP NAT inside on loopback 0 and 1 and I've added the IP NAT outside command to the serial. The command is IP NAT pool, quick pool, and I've put a pool of 10 addresses, 20001 to 10, and a prefix dash length of 24. So that's a 24-bit binary mask added to that pool. So once we've configure, configured the IP NAT pool, we just configure a, a further NAT command, IP NAT inside, source list 1, which refers to access list 1, and the pool I've named quick pool in the previous NAT command. Once you've added that command, the only other command you need is your access list. I'm going to write an access list that lets the networks on loopback 0 and on loopback 1 become NATted. So that's anything that starts with address 192.168. The reason is what I want to do is test a couple of the addresses out of the pool to make sure or to show to you how the pool actually works and allocates addresses one at a time. So I've added the access lists, I've added the two NAT commands and the IP NAT inside and outside commands to the relevant interfaces. Now turn on debug IP NAT translations. I've typed debug IP NAT. I'm doing an extended ping, so I'm typing ping, press enter. My target IP address is simply the serial on router B, which has a static route pointing back to us. Press enter a few times, press yes for extended commands. I'd like the source address or interface to be loopback zero for my first test. And then all you need to do is press enter five or six times. You've got the debug IP NAT turned on and you can see we have the address 192.168.1.1 natted to the first available address on the pool, which is 20.0.0.1. I'm going to do another ping now. It's to the same target IP address. Uh, I'm going to source it now from the interface on loopback 1 and this should, all things been equal, allocate the second available address in the IP NAT pool which is 20.0.0.2 So I've defined the loopback 1 address pressed enter a few times and we can see the 192.168.2.1 address has been natted to 20.0.0.1 and we can do that also with a show IP NAT translations command. And that's the end of the lab. Thanks a lot for watching.